I also want to make sure that you get the most out of this course though. And for that, of course, you should watch the videos. Watch them at your speed, use the playback controls, the speed controls in the video player to speed me up if I'm going too slow for your taste in a certain video or on a certain concept, but also slow me down if you need more time. Also pause and rewind if a certain concept is not clear yet. It's a video on demand course, so take advantage of that. You can watch a video more than once, this is absolutely fine. Also code along. Pause and rewind, as I said, if I'm going too fast, and also pause regularly to try implementing what I'm about to implement on your own first. This is the best way of practicing. I also got tons of quizzes in this course, which you can use, because practicing, of course, is important. So do the assignments you find, follow along in the practice projects we dive into, and do the quizzes to check your knowledge and make sure that we're all on the same page. Also, of course, if you're facing errors, if something does not work as expected, use the knowledge you gain in the development and debugging section and debug your code. Search for errors and also search for solutions. You can use the attached code snippets, which you find attached to multiple lectures per module and always to the last lecture of each module to compare your code to mine. If something is not working as shown in the video, chances are that there is a difference in code and comparing code is what you should do in that case to find and fix the error. You can also replace your code step by step with mine temporarily to narrow down the issue but also Google error messages if you find them and use the search built into the Udemy course player. That allows you to also find many common issues and fix them on your own. But of course, if you're stuck or if some concept is unclear and you're not able to proceed on your own, also ask and answer. You have a Q&A section in this course and there you can ask questions and I will read and reply there regularly but also use it to help others because you will learn the most if you don't just ask, but if you solve problems on your own and if you also help others solve problems because that forces you to think about an issue and find a solution and that ultimately is always how you learn the most.